Boyd is there and he runs it defensively over the line. I was mentioning about Nick Carter before. On that occasion, it was young Clayton who was on Marendi. He was 10 yards behind Marendi. You can't afford to give these guys that much start. So 16-point margin to Richmond. And Atkin goes wide to the skipper, Boyd. Now wants to set up Malloy, and he does. Atkins really been the architect at the back. Gone wide. Richardson. No, it's in fact a free kick going against Johnson, I should say. Had two to beat there and just couldn't get between Campbell and Rogers. So Wayne Campbell gives Richardson a chance. Oh, Big oh, boy over the thing. back. On the ground, plate. Nace comes in over the top. Atkins, as he so often does, mobbed up to Banford. Banford kicks it out wide, the ball bouncing towards the boundary line. Gale, clever tap. Fantastic tap back to Campbell. And then a tip to Richardson. And that's good, steady play from the experienced players at Richmond. So Matthew Richardson. A kick from probably closer to 40 metres. Wallace has got something wrong with him too. He's hurt himself. Maybe he's turned an ankle. And Wolf comes onto the ground. And Prescott coming on for Richmond. And Brad Boyd goes off, so that's a bit of a blow for Fitzroy. And he's done a fairly good job on here earlier, I think, in the first quarter. Richardson. Very deliberate approach. Kicks. And it's just pulled it to the left a bit, I think. Yes, just one point. Well, he went back to the centre with Fitz raised, thinking he'd kick that goal. Two goals, two he's kicked, and uh, Boyd has done a fair job on it. And straight down the rooms for treatment, uh, Brad Boyd, 9-10, plays 7-5. Atkins again. Ignores Malloy and goes to the outer side. Oh, Johnson! Oh, oh. <laughs> Play that one on the mark of the day. Cool. Rombotus back to Johnson, who is now back on the ground after that piece of aerial work and how masterful it was Bond Gale, uh, Rogers 55 from home, Rogers it's the post Gee, they turn it over don't they we said it earlier, you know, Rombotus there really turned it over and you know, Richmond nearly capitalised it's just the little mistakes that they're doing that's exciting that isn't exciting that is it that's not I think when you have these set plays, I mean, Atkins has been pretty good at this. And, I mean, you, it, it's almost impossible to play the perfect game. And occasionally, that will happen. So I'd suggest to uh, just keep persevering with it. And put that one down to experience. Bond. Become a goal kicker of recent times. And uh, no exception this time. Setting goal for the Tigers. First goal to Chris Bond, and the first one this quarter for the Tigers uh, after Fitzroy got an early one, Doc. Yes, and that turnover, it's costly. Yeah. And Chris Bond has really worked on his game since coming from Carlton. Didn't get his opportunity at uh, Carlton, but got his mark here as a tagger, and now is turning into an attacking player, and it's good to see players able to play off other players. 47 plays 71. Prescott unable to take it. Campbell can. Tumbles a punt down to the half forward line. Malloy caught. Loses it. Prescott pushed out the football. A rhombotus a chance to get the hand pass away to Pike. Pike chips it up towards the centre wing. Try of it. Mine, mine. Bamford does take it. Short to Pike. They do go short, don't they? They're just maintaining position. Martin Pike now, a little more direct, going long to right half forward, walking off to Hogg, close to the boundary line. He pulls it back, but Kellaway eyes only for the football, running back with the flight of the ball. Too good for Trent coming. Towards Charles, and at full stretch, pulls it in. in the back pocket not a lot on offer there is Kellaway in the centre Sandy yeah there is Kellaway and there's also Tate but he is more direct going towards Kellaway now Tawny's running and now Richmond are away 
Tawny's kick up towards the half forward line. Oh, flying from the side. And he's going to be paid at this time. Richardson picks himself up. He's got, he's got a lot of footy done. That kick no. from Charles. Just almost pinched by Carter. Could have been one yeah, of those what I was turnovers. Thinking, yeah. Well, what I was thinking, how can you let two guys, I mean, there's 18 guys on the field on respective sides, how can you get a loose man like Callaway running up from half-back? Where's well, his opponent? Well, Charles was the ruckman. Primus was out wide on the other understand, side. I and understand, And so the guy that. that was actually standing mark for him came out wide. Yeah, well, I mean, you just got to go with him. He's got to be a bit more tall. Richardson has two. And now he's got number three for the Tigers as they steady. That's his third goal going off is Nick Carter. Coming on for Fitzroy is Brett Chandler. But you just can't leave guys unattended on the ground. There's got to be a little bit more talk. That loose man can really cut you up. It's interesting, isn't it? Richardson hasn't taken a real big mark. Now Boyd's gone off him and almost immediately takes a, a terrific mark. I mean, Beloy has been good, though. Primus grabs hold of it in the centre. Ten to Rombotis. Work hard, Rombotis. McGregor wants to tap it down to Johnson. Oh. Puts him under enormous pressure. Take responsibility yourself, son. Ten comes hard. Campbell caught. Gets out of it. Brilliantly out of it. Plays out wide as Prescott. Now goes one with a beautiful long kick. Over the back comes Paxton. Paxton. And again, <laughs> knocks it towards the boundary line. Still kept alive. Comes back to Bond. Bond wants some space. Now kicks to the front of the square. Good Discipline kick. kick. Richardson again almost. Daffy on the ground. Malloy puts the tackle on. An exciting piece of play in the Richmond forward line. Matthew Dint back in the side of the square went in and tried to bump his team, uh, uh, his opposition player, I think it was Campbell, but really he should have laid the tackle. Campbell bounced off, Richmond have got the advantage, the ball now in their forward line. Held. And the Paxton family are thankful for more publicity. <laughs> there is McGregor. Tigers led by 20 points at half time, so they've extended their lead by 10. Nash over the top. Asks the question. And Richmond fans are delighted. Simon Atkins is not. It's just not enough action, Simon Atkins. You must make some attempt, and you've got to wriggle your body around, do something, convince the umpire. Don't just lying there and not making a real genuine attempt, I believe. Well, he did make one initially, but then he really tried to disguise it, didn't he? Yeah. But uh, the umpire is right. He's just that uh, Atkins was trying to con the umpire. Actually, he didn't look as bad. I must have been on the replay. Uh, he did try to pitch his own hit players so he could come back in underneath him. Gale going for his third. Good player, this man. Brendan Gale. 30 metres out. Distance not a problem, and neither is accuracy. He gets number three, and Richmond hit back. Not by a goal. In celebrating football centenary year, we talk to the game's greats, past and present. Yeah, Tommy, don't even know what I'm talking about. 100 years of football, Monday. Back in the centre, Broderick wants to use that left handle. Campbell always on the forward side of the centre. Kicks forward, Jerika underneath it. Nice, beautifully red like a rover. Richardson. Has a player in the square, Richardson. He can turn around if he wishes, but doesn't. And this wonderful athlete now starting to get on top. And when your two key forwards like Gale and Richardson kick six between them so far, perhaps a seven, they really are starting to hurt the Fitzroy team. Once again, and maybe uh, Barker going, not Barker, Boyd going off has really made a difference because he kept this man up quiet. Matthew Richardson uh, has kicked his four and the Tigers 13 so the margins quickly out to seven goals, 42 points. Well it was a 14 point deficit early in the third quarter but Richmond now starting to break from the centre although Primus did get his hand on that and sent it Fitzroy's way. It was cut out by Richmond and uh, Campbell again left unattended forward side of the square. 
There's a Fitzroy player really must hold back there, Don. It's one of the only defensive position in the centre. Gives you some room to move. And also they're opening up the front end of the square, uh, Richmond, so they know that nobody, no, an opposition player, a Fitzroy player, is not going to come on and meet him. So Campbell could run confidently through the front end of the square. 42 points the margin. Back in the middle once again, and it's Miranda who takes it out of the centre for the Tigers. Down towards the half board line. Strong mark. Oh, look at Richardson. Gun. He gets it quickly down. I thought he might have turned his ankle then. Gale is 75 out. He gets onto a tall ball. Square and over the back from behind. But didn't the crowd ride with that one? Shades of M. Blight. Oh, no, Sandy, that was only from 60 metres out. Blight, what was yours? 110? Yes, but well, that was 114. 114. That was a magic kick. At <laughs> towards Bar. And he says, thank you very much. Nathan Bar, the boy from Mildura. The Tigers starting to put the old foot on the accelerator now. In towards a Richardson territory again. Couldn't take it. Johnson's away for the Lions. Three bounces. Well, two and a half anyway. In towards the middle, and they steady things down. Made a great start to this third quarter. Look out, Paxman. He's okay. Back again towards Rombotus. Oh, Rombotus kicking star. Floating putt. Goes towards half forward, coming through without the football. Gasper looking for a little bit of space, didn't find it. Bamford working hard for the Lions. Still going, well done Bamford. Over the top he goes. This could result in a goal towards Rombotus. He can pick it up now, under pressure. Puts the ball out in front as Gasper applies the tackle. A cry of ball by Tiger Bam. Well, that was a good chance. Again, a skill error causing the turnover. It was good play by Bamford, the way he got through. He's only a small player, but... He's really, you know, putting himself in as far as the space is concerned. He's putting his small frame through that space. There he is, 22. Hock gets front position, taps it out to Cummings. Can't get hold of it. Gasper sets up Daffy. Daffy has players in the middle of the ground. Goes in the direction of Rogers. Johnson late with the spoil. Oh, Campbell, a great scoop. Sets up Godwick this time. Goes short. Trying to find Dorica, really has had trouble getting the footy to go. Now turns back, players everywhere in the middle. Rogers, Rogers. it is, can go to Miranda if he wants. He oh. really did only have eyes for the goals then. And, uh, oh, he dropped his head, didn't he? He wanted to go for the goal. Look. As soon as he took that, Miranda was on and he could have got it across if he wanted to. So Matthew Rogers from South Adelaide. Also Trent Cummings off and uh, young Nick Carter back on. Probably for that handball, just, just a skill error, just panic. Sometimes you don't need to get rid of it as quickly as you think. So Rogers. Hit one in the second. It's a very short runner. And he pushes it to the right uh, behind. 13-13 uh, Richmond. Fitzroy 7-5. Atkins again. Paxman screaming for it. Goes over the top of Paxman towards Primus. Malloy upset the pack. But it is Bamford who drifts it towards centre wing. Yes, it's too hot. Good decision. Gavin Dorr again. The man on the spot. Hogs. Floating punt kick towards half forward. Turner is there. Hawking caught. Fine tackle. Still in play though, thanks to Danny Morton. Around he goes to Bamford. Dealt with by Tawney. Into centre half forward. Daffy a chance to tidy up. A high floater in towards Gale. Couldn't take the mark. Johnson is there for Fitzroy. Beaten by Nash. Rogers calls for it. Nash decides to go back inside. Does to Gale. Can go over the top. And he does now. They've got the runner because Daffy followed it down. Goes short to Miranda, clever play. Saw Miranda out of the corner of his eye. No one within Cooey of him. And so Mark Miranda can have a shot. Kicked the goal in the first quarter. 
not as busy today as he has been in recent weeks. He's made this out of Western Australian squad too, Sandy. This yeah. man been in very good form. For the State of Origin series coming up in a couple of weeks. From 40 metres. That's a flat looking puck by Mark Miranda and he's popped it straight through the middle. About to play her 50th game. She just loves football. But now the league says no girls. She was uh, devastated. Discrimination on the footy field. A sports report Monday on 7 Nightly News. 100 years of Australian football Monday on 7. In the third quarter, Richmond kicked five, six to one goal to lead by 50 points at the last change. We rejoin with just over 13 minutes left and the Tigers by 52 points. 52 points is the margin. Tackling of Bond certainly hasn't let up at all. Pike on the end of the chain. Pushes wide towards centre wing. Keeping it in play was uh, young Brett Chandler. Under great pressure, however, his first game of Nick Carter. He's learning all about it very smartly. Bond towards Richardson. That's a tough one, isn't it? That's a real tough one. Out on the full. Malloy. Gets underneath the drop punt. A big pack of players. Oh, no, oh, no, he's given a free oh. kick. That's a courageous decision. That is a very courageous decision, Gavin Dorr. And a correct one, too. Gee. Well, put the many. hands in the back. There are hundreds here that disagree, but still. Play goes on. Marinda's out the back. Chance for the Tigers now. Mark Marinda's kick goes towards the 50, and Richardson steaming out. Takes the mark. Wheels around now. And from 47 metres into full forward. Thank you very much. Benny Gale says, and he pops it through. And Chris Johnson is left pondering that mark that may have been. Well, it wasn't a mark, and... Uh... That's oh. his fourth goal. There he is, the big fellow, Brendan Gale, down on the full forward position. He's alternated between centre half forward, full forward. They can do that when you've got Richardson on the forward line. They can alternate. Jerica was down there for a while. They can just switch their big fellows wherever. Richmond. With your Richardson in screen. Yes, yeah, eight goals between uh, Gale and Richardson. Very hurtful when you're full forward, dash centre half forward. Tall or set position players in the forward line get eight goals. Yeah, interesting call that, isn't it? I mean, I, to the letter of the law, that mark of Chris Johnson's really is in the back, isn't it? I mean, you impede the player in front from jumping. But how often we see that, and the umpire goes with a crowd and pays it as a mark. Well, you played in the Premiership side so with Knights, you're doing it 15 times, so I'd like to get it done retrospectively. Yeah. Oh, isn't that oh. dirty? Just because somebody lowered their colours. Back in the centre, uh, yes. David Ackland bounces the ball. Charles with the tap. I didn't think anyone would hold a grudge. That's 20 years ago. McGregor swings the ball around. Gasper been pretty good. Oh, Richmond players everywhere. Godric's got his own footy again at the moment. Name all over it, Malcolm. Yes, to Campbell. No, it's his own, Sandy. He's got his name. To centre half forward. Big pack of players to Nash. Quick chip to Richardson and kicks it. Oh, he's put it into Footscray Road, hey. It's on its way to Geelong. Oh. I'd send him, I'd send him. <laughs> 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 that so, reminds me of school days, actually. We then sent over the fence to go and get the ball. So Richmond have kicked their third for the quarter and Fitzroy just won and the... <laughs> The margin really now starting to look a bit dangerous. 64 points to the Richmond side. Well, really. Anyway, the ball back in the centre. He's put, he's put that out. On. Oh, unbelievable. Crowd of 13,497 here at the Witten Oval this afternoon. Witnessing Richmond going on with the job. 53 plays 117. The crowd has certainly been given something to shout about. Some exciting times by young Johnson as Pike runs down the ground and goes towards full forward and Gasper settled in with his new club. Did well against uh, Jason Dunstall and is doing pretty well. So too Wayne Campbell. Rogers couldn't complete the mark. McGregor to Johnson off to Bamford. Needs assistance. McGregor takes it again from Chandler. 
They're going to lose it Got though. Then, McGregor. Jerika to Bond. To half forward, Richardson alone. And McGregor in a bit of trouble behind play. Up, but very worse for wear. You'd have to score the intensity of Richmond as oh, looking yeah. at the second half. Well, they really have harassed but the you younger. Can't, you've got to admire these little guys, these guys from uh, Fitzroy because it's just physical strength. We mentioned it earlier. He just couldn't break through there, uh, McGregor. And he really did hurt himself, but it'll come. Five goals to date for Richardson. Starts at right. But it doesn't matter. Comes back and he eases it through. It's interesting watching Richardson kick those goals. He lets the ball go. He lets the ball go from both hands simultaneously when he should really direct it down in his situation with the right hand. Maybe just hang on to a little bit longer. Now there's the turnover. They just can't get away, can they? Uh, Chandler also turned his over. He was laying a tackle and McGregor trying to get it through. There's Richardson who's now kicked six goals. Two of them coming in the last quarter. McGregor. 70 point margin to Richmond. Bond under pressure. Campbell also under pressure. Fantastic from Rogers. Oh. And they just force it forward with really almost brute strength. And the kick falls short to Miranda. Richardson's back in the square. He has to sit on Malloy. Uses his body. Fantastic defensive work from Jared Malloy. Knocks it through for a behind. So, intelligent play then. Uh, Richardson really did look at, to be in the box seat. Four of his six goals coming in the second half. Martin Pike is awarded the football on the half-back flank. He goes short to Hall. Ironical cheers, of course, playing against his old side. Up towards centre wing. And this fog starting to descend on the ground. It hasn't affected the vision of Rogers. Back that well, maybe it has, because he's put it straight down the throat of Atkins. Pike gives it away towards Johnson. Runs through centre wing. And again, a poor kick. Dropping short, mark taken by Michael Gale, who's been on and off the bench today. As you can see by his stats. Well, he's pinpointed Atkins again. So it's kick for kick out there at the moment. Let's see what they can do this time. Paxman's alone, and he's got it 60 metres out. He can close from 55. It's a long drop punt, and he has put it through. First goal to Stephen Paxman in his 87th game. Good player for... Um Fitzroy side last year, Paxman playing at full back. And just very unlucky not to make the state squad last year. He made the squad, I think. He just didn't get selected, but he was a form player. Pity he was playing down at Fitzroy. He just didn't receive the kudos that he deserved. Yes. Richmond comfortable. Would like some more to try and build that percentage up. Fitzroy really trying to learn something, learning something every minute, we say. They can now. Oh, Campbell gets in underneath. Broderick's been pretty good all day. Miranda, look out, running into trouble. Well, always been aggressive. Bond taps it back intelligently and then gives away the free kick, Malloy, coming over the top of Miranda. Kicks in towards centre-half forward. Atkins gets a handle to Broderick. Oh. Great handball to Rodrika. Another goal to the Tigers. There's a pity for Fitzroy. It was a good effort by Atkins. Just going there trying to cut it off. But uh, fortunately for Richmond, it fell their way. And Jerika has kicked his second goal. First in Oh, first, I'm sorry. He's had a number of shots, two in fact. There he is. He's been on the on and off the bench today, Stephen Jerica. We've got another lost ball. This is the third one we're playing with today. Seventy-one points, the margin. 
with just under eight minutes remaining. So the Tigers really stretching it out now. Broderick has been sensational. Away he goes again. He pulls it round, trying to accommodate Daffy, I think, initially. Now Bond's got to do it. He's got to beat a couple. Gee, he did well. Danny Morton works hard for Fitzroy. So too does Atkins. Ball is eventually held and we'll find ourselves with another bounce on half forward for the Tigers. Gale rushes in to do the work up against Primus. And Gale wins it. Daffy on the end of this. Should go. Oh. The Duck loves that. His second. And now Richmond really working on the sending. And Funky was the one who got it out with the handball. Started on the change, Ross. Here he comes. Your figure here. Good. And that was an excellent kick. He actually bent that through the air. Daffy. And that's his second goal. Interesting. Uh, Paul, Paul Godrick stats in the second quarter were only three. In the others, he's had 14, 10 and 8 so far in the last quarter. So the quarter that Fitzroy were really big in, uh, Paul Godrick just quietened off a bit. So it's a big margin now. Charles. Quick handle out. Pike's tried pretty hard. Got a lot of kicks. One on one situation in the goal square. Turner keeps his feet. Gale running wide. Matthew Richardson a long way from his marker at the moment and can't control it and out of bounds centre wing. He is really an athlete. And the man he's playing on, Malloy, is about 20 metres behind, blowing. Really looking for petrol tickets. Boundary throw in. Primus retains front spot. That's a terrific tap. Great smother from Miranda on board. And then a free kick given away. Second effort by Charles. And the umpire will come back. He was going to play advantage, advantage but he didn't. Thought second. And a second thought. Goes long. Nice coming back, one-hander. Stuck out the mid and it did stick. Chris Nash, probably just his distance, just on 50, it's a nice kick, it's coming, it's coming back, it's another one to the Tigers. Kicks his second. Today. Two points, Richardson got seven goals, Brendan Gale kicked five, and for the Lions, Barker, their leading goal scorer with three, and the crowd was 13,497 at Witten Oval. And now the ladder with still three matches to go in round six. North on top, Brisbane at the moment second. They could go back on top tomorrow. Collingwood up to third ahead of Adelaide after beating them today. And Richmond up into the top bracket. They're in eighth position on the ladder. Fitzroy still looking for their first win of the season. Well, it was a great move by the AFL to observe a minute's silence prior to the start of each match in round six for the victims in Port Arthur last weekend. The two matches I've seen this week, bearing in mind that crowds were looking forward to seeing the game, well, they just stood in silence for a minute and you could hear a pin drop at the MCG last night and at Victoria Park today. And the Seven Network has launched a nationwide appeal for victims of the Port Arthur incident. Donations can be made by phoning 1-800-681-008 or at any branch of the Commonwealth Bank. The toll-free number will be open until midnight Sunday and you can use any credit card. Money raised will be donated to the Tasmanian Government Port Arthur Appeal. And I needn't say, how about giving generously? After the break, we'll be back with Scotty Palmer with all the news from the President's lunches and the dressing room. Sunday Herald Sun, good evening, Scotty. I'm terrific, Drew. How are you, mate? All right. Now, what have you got in the paper tomorrow for us? Well, the big news at Collingwood, the President, Kevin Rose, didn't rule out the possibility that the Magpies one day might merge. He said the Magpie board has often talked about joining another club. The board's policy is to continue in, uh, to look at all these possibilities, but their preferred option, of course, is to remain themselves. But Kevin pointed out, if you look at the big picture, the big picture league football at the moment, four clubs could go and Collingwood could end up the fifth strongest in the state. And nobody would like to see that, Drew. No, well, that would send shockwaves through the football community, but I suppose the cricket club merged and once the great uh, Jack Ryder played for them, so anything's possible. I suppose it is. Uh, everyone's talking about mergers. All the presidents today, 
It's on everyone's mind. I'm just hoping it goes away for a while now. What about the Shaw boys? They were opponents today as coaches and Tony got the points. Yeah, Tony said it was an excellent win over quality opposition today. Very, very pleased with his side. Looking at a finals prospect now, Robert Shaw said that uh, they won only 10 and a half games out of 47 in Melbourne. But he said we are improving, we're getting closer. He said we underestimated the Magpie midfield today. And of course he's got Shane Allen with a broken collarbone. He'll miss eight weeks. Mark Bickley took 30 stitches in the head today. He'll have to be doubtful for next week. But, Shane, but uh, Gavin Brown... The captain down at Collingwood, he took the knock, but he got up and he'll play next week. Yep, he was carried off on a stretcher. Now, uh, Melbourne are in all sorts of uh, diabolical trouble, and uh, Ian Ridley, who wears the red and the blue on his sleeve proudly, he burst into the coach's press conference. Very emotional, yes. He burst into Neil Barnes' press conference tonight and said Melbourne players have to start looking themselves right in the eye, Drew. He said they are letting Barmy down. His guts is being torn out. Pretty emotional stuff down there. Barm said that the Demons aren't tough enough to play as well as they should. They've lost belief in their physical effort. There were no injuries, but a lot of soul-searching amongst the Demons. And Ian Ridley got up at lunch today and he said that um, the league have to start looking at giving more dividends to the club. Otherwise, four will go. Four will go out of the competition and 200 players will be on the dole. Gee whiz. So it's tough stuff there. And what's going on with the Eagles? They've kicked 24 goals. It's not the Eagles we've come to know and hate, is it? No, Mickey Malthouse said it was terrific because he's got a new team in the field. They had to turn that Optus Oval hoodoo around and the new boys did it. He had some terrific young uh, players today, particularly Matera's brother, Phil. He kicked four goals in the last quarter and did very well. Peter Sumich, though, looks like being fined and disciplined over in Perth because he did not play for South Fremantle today and the Eagles have to deal with it tomorrow. Well, Scotty, we just saw the Lions getting an absolute hiding from Richmond, and I believe that Robert Walls uh, had some kind things to say about his old club. He sprung to the defence of his old club, Fitzroy, and Mick Noonan too. He said um, he believes Noonan's doing a good job. They've got a game plan out there, and while they stick to it, it works. Often it goes off the rails, as it did today. But he said they're doing the right things in playing the first-year players. He said stick with the boys and not go after the mercenaries. That's what he told Fitzroy. He's got a deep love. Scotty, show us your front page of sport for tomorrow, mate. This is our front page of sport, the Big Sab Sandwich, and keep on punching, Drew. Look forward to seeing it. OK, good night. That's footy tonight. Don't this forget the replay later on. Of seven sport. Second bounce.